All right, I'm going to admit I've already played part of it. I'm after the this alien isolate. I'm going to admit I've already played parts of this part. Um, I had to go back because I my mic stopped recording partway through, and I'm not sure when it did. So I got to keep a closer eye on that. So we're gonna I'm gonna be replaying this. I've already played it, so I know what to do now. There was a little bit of stumbling around in this next part. Now that I know what to do, it'll um we won't have that same issue. I hope. Yeah, the keyword being I hope. I might get lost. Well, probably not in this part because I do remember exactly what to do for this part. Anyways, I hadn't said, uh, I don't think I said anything too important in my last recording. I do know I am getting close to the end of this game, so I need, I've been starting to think about what I want to play next. And I think I'm definitely going to stick with the theme of science fiction, because that is definitely what I've been playing a lot of in my game. I do remember when I start, when I first played, I did some Terraria, Terraria or whatever it's called, but that game is really not for me. And I think I actually took down the um, episodes I uploaded. Just because it's not what I wanted my channel to be about, and I got re- There was a few episodes there where it was just me, nothing but frustrated. And that's really not the kind of footage I want to upload. So I took it- I'm pretty sure I took it down, I'll double check if I did. And if I didn't, I'll take- I'm definitely taking it down now. But I definitely want to keep up with the theme with science fiction, and I'm probably not going to play new top line games, and even then, there's not many- Science fiction's always been a niche for games. Most people, it's it's not very popular. Like I think the most popular science fiction games on the market right now are prob like just for common playthroughs. I think would be Assassin's Creed and maybe some Mass Effect. Although Mass Effect's kind of old now. Actually, that's something. Um, that's actually one thing I'd, I'd consider doing is Mass Effect, but I'm not. Um, my thing about games where you create your protagonist is I'm not very creative. I don't want. Servo lock on. Parabolic antenna in fixed position. Damn it! Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm not. No. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, when it comes to games where you create your own protagonist, like you act with character customization and stuff like that, I tend not to build do too much into it. It's it takes like I know some people spend hours perfecting their characters. What I'll probably do is I'll take one of the presets, make some slight adjustments to it, and just stick to that. So I probably won't be playing many of those. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep playing this game with the masking keyboard just because I am. When it comes to aiming and accuracy, I'm much better with the masking keyboard than I than I'm with the controller. So games like Mass Effect, Fallout, I might not play one, play them very much unless someone gives me like a little guide or helps me through the character creation. Just because, like I said, I tend to play with the presets, make a few modifications like hair color, skin tone, that kind of stuff, but very general changes. Yeah, I, I I understand how can people can spend hours upon hours upon hours customizing their characters in games like that. It's just not something that appeals to me. No. Although actually the game I'm thinking of has a bit of that, although I don't think it's too extravagant. And 
75 is next. There we go. Low power. Are oh, they gonna make me stand here while this thing spins? Rather than letting me start walking back. Anyway, so I know what happens in these next little parts. Because I got through, I got back to Ricardo is how far I got before I noticed my mic wasn't recording. So there's not going to be any surprises there. I kind of wish they would have let me start walking back to the uh, airlock while talking to Verlaine. There's, there was really no need to keep me up there because it's such a long walk. And let's see. There's no super not going in. I noticed in this last part when I was playing through it that the debris is flying through this antenna array, which it really shouldn't be. Yeah, that time that that dialogue with Relay was going off, we could have probably been back at least close to the airlock. We've made it. We've made it. Now we're late for the background loading. And boom, we're changed. I'm going to save. Whoa. And I'm going to make sure yeah, my mic's still recording at this point, so I know how far, at least how far I got if I have more mic problems. Ricardo, get ready to move. We're leaving. Ricardo? Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. And look, there's a human there. And there was a human there. Emergency. Please attend your assigned evacuation point and await instructions. That took a lot, that was a lot quicker than last time. Hi!
Hi. It really didn't want to leave, did it? The reason I'm hiding here is because last time I came out here, there it is. Xenomorph. was out there. Where'd it go? Of course, all the lights turn on. Oh shit. Where is it? Okay, it's downstairs. For a second there, I thought it was right behind me up here. Oh, hello. I need to find a place to hide. Ah, oh, there's a nice locker right there. going. To Lawrence to Spires, the sex spires. I need to make it all the way around there. Oh boy. Oops, did not not what I wanted to do. girl trying to come up behind me, I think. Did he literally just charge the Xenomorph? charge the xenomorph.
Here it comes again. I want to take a chance. Sound like it was behind me. I think it found a human to kill. that way. Okay, I'm running low on flamethrower. Well, I'm not running low on flamethrower through, but I'm definitely running through my flamethrower fuel. I hope for a little breather soon. What's that? Oh shit, he saw me. I'm trapped in an elevator. So 
Someone must know what's going on. Can't remember the last time I slept. creeped me out even before it all went to shit. <coughs> what are the kids are doing right now? Someone there? Must have been those weird noise. Whoever you are, you better back off. I'm not messing around. Turn back. I've seen you. <gasps> oh, shit. Now I need to get out of here. Cause there is no way to nowhere to hide in here. Clocking off uh, 1851. Not gonna read that. This is Sinclair. You guys took too long down there. I had to power down this facility and take the last transit. We can't afford to keep the sanctuary wide open. All it'll take is one creature to get in, and all the supplies and weapons we've taken will come to jack shit. Me and mine. I'm gonna sit this out till the rescue comes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but when you started chasing after a ship that'll never come, you broke with the plan. Sinclair out. Alright, so I think there was a key card access there, and it's 1851. I better double check. Yep. Alright, uh, restore power to the Okay, so we're making progress.
Alright, time to stick your head out. Oh shit. I'm gonna hide. This is not a very good hiding spot. Come in. I'll admit, flame throwing that thing was a bit of a panic. Okay. Yeah, using the flame throwing thing was be panicking a little. Waiting for it to go away. Okay, I think it's safe. Nope. So it sees me. Hi. It saw me. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one.